like I'm putting all this stuff out for free. Oh, you're putting the energy out there for free, so that should come. What does that come back to you a hundred times? All good stuff comes back to you. A hundred, anything comes back. Oh, to you. I wonder what's sending out those the videos. Energy, that. All comes back anyway, right? All the energy you put into those videos is going to start coming back to you a hundred times. That's you better brace yourself for that. Well, anything. That you're you going to have like this huge Renaissance fair going on down in there. <laughs> <laughs> like all these horses will start showing up or something. Anything that you do can come back 10 to 100 times depending on the energy you use. The law that you meditate uh -oh. day and night is that law because you could make a mistake and do something dumb that would hurt you. And so what you want to meditate in is peace and serenity and <coughs> for everyone and all that instead of... Uh, pushing hard. So what I'm putting out is inspiration. Yeah. I'm I, putting out things that will bring you to huh. a higher level. Wonder what that coming back a hundred times is going to be like. That'll be, uh, that's something, well, that's something to look way. forward so to. As men think it, so is he. I think therefore I am. As we believe, we will become when we believe we can. Oh, that's why you start rejoicing about that. You know, your good deeds are going to come back a hundred times. Well, it, we don't, you don't do it for that reason. You do it because oh. you do it. You do it because God told you to do it. Not because you're going to go around this tree seven times and that's going to get you to heaven. That's not going to get you to heaven. Well, that's just a ritual. You and your relationship with God. He's going to say, depart from <laughs> Circumambulating the tree. God, Are you talking God, about cir circumambulation of the, of the totem pole? <laughs> really became God's friend, he does not know who you are. Unless you spend that time and read his word, which is, a lot of it's in the Bible, and tells you how to handle things, then you're not his child. You're not hey, going to have I learned not. something. I learned something new about Pharaoh, that, you know, Firun in the Quran. Mm -hmm. He's referred to a few times as the Lord of the Poles, or something, or, or the or the ruler over the or of the land of the wood, like like his territory. Who is this again? The Pharaoh of Moses, and he had like his, his, his. It almost sounds like he had the whole place marked out, maybe with totem poles or something evil. There, it was like the Lord of the Wood or something. Like he had all in in all these poles everywhere marked out as territory or something. I mean, evil is to, to him and things evil. I mean, that's what Jesus said, is if you look at the tree and say it's evil, then to you it's evil, and it will be evil. Well, and the Pharaoh the was pretty evil. <laughs> they go on the web and they say, oh, this is bad because this person is a mason or they wouldn't use this image. That's the wrong answer. Well, no, they've stolen every... Let me finish a thought. Okay? Okay. They've stolen everything and said it's ours now and you can't have it, and if you do, we're going to tell everybody that that's what and who you are. And so we have to take our stuff back. We can't just let ourselves be, you know, trodden over. You know what I'm saying? We can't just let people take it. It's like, you can't have that because that's not of God. Who said? You? You translated that the way you thought it should be translated, and now you're the perfection of God? Let's see what God does with it. If he told me to put it out there, then I don't think you have anything to say about it. See how that works? <laughs> 